Cisco loves hearing your airsoft wishes. That's right, micro. Hear that Velcro? Yeah. And he wants to grant your you deepest, like? darkest airsoft wish. You know it's carbon link. Oh, you like Glocks? Oh, I got a Glock. What Glock do you... Kevin? Kevin! Kevin, this isn't for you! Get off the phone, Kevin! With the YouTube unboxing mystery box. From now until the 4th of July, Cisco will be throwing in a $1,000 custom airsoft gun for every 25 boxes sold. Order now. Cisco's waiting for you at airsoftgi.com. All right, all right, all right. <sighs> what was the video idea again? Top five guns. Yeah, top five, okay, dude, I cannot see out of this thing, dude. How do people wear these? Okay, yeah, so top five guns, 2021. I know the year is not over yet, but these are just some of our staff picks. Uh, I got drawn to be the first one to go. So, what are my top favorite guns of 2021? Let's get into this listicle. First gun of the list. Whoa, wait, wait, whoa, hold on there. You thought I was gonna get into the video that quick? Why don't you, first of all, subscribe, all right? You see that green screen? All right, it costs a lot of money. Uh, actually, it didn't cost any money, but you get the point, all right? Subscribe, support us, all right? You like to be entertained. I like making entertaining videos for you guys, so entertain us, all right? Help support us by clicking that subscribe button, all right? Because YouTube don't like Airsoft that much, okay? And if you want to get me paid over minimum wage, and if you want Kevin to have three square meals a day, because God knows he ain't eating anything. Make sure to shop at airsoftgi.com, all right? You support them, all right? It supports us. It's, it's, it's very simple. Number one, GNG GTP9. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. All you TM fanboys out there, all right, that want everything TM spec. Hey, all right, GTP9 is like a, it's like a not a Glock. Have you shot the SMC9? All right, I wanted to put the SMC9 in, but I have a feeling that either Cisco or Kevin is, is gonna put it in, all right? Have you shot GTP9? It is so snappy. It is like a TM out of the box, but more gas efficient. The hop-up system, all right, where you, where you just get the little, little, the little tool, right? You just have the barrel. Dude, it's such a pain-free process. Dude, do you know what you have to do to change hop-up on traditional TM pistols? Only to break apart the slide, and uh, uh, it gets rid of all that. And I get three mags per fill. All right, I don't have to every other game. Uh, uh, loading green gas, it's a good gun. All right, I like it a lot too. It comes with three color variations, right? It gets a black and the gray. If you're really cool, you know, you're about that gray man aesthetic. Or if you like, you know, be super extra milsim, you like peanut butter, everything, like this, like the SIG over here, right? You get in the tan, you know, all black version for all you, you, uh, Plain Jane's out there. Number two, Jag Arms, GMX 4.3. I'm not a high cap player, all right? I don't, I'm not a huge high cap, but this guy really got me, this gun really got me thinking. He really got me a little, you know, feeling a little something, all right? The, with a little, little angular cut on the front, right? It kind of reminds me of like the, the, the Jericho 9 mil, you know what I'm talking about? The, what, what, what do they call it, the baby desert eagle, whatever, it just has a nice angular cut on the front. I thought it looked super cool. Oh, hold on. Okay, TM Purist again. All right, I know it's not TM, but it's TM compatible, hmm? All right, and their mags, very gas efficient. Extremely gas, and, and again, have you shot that thing before? Especially at $125? Bro, it is it is such a steal, especially the way that it, it cycles. Oh, it's so buttery smooth. Well, one thing I love doing, especially when we get new Jag High Kappas in our marketing office, all right, Kevin knows, all right, I'm, I'm all up in there, you know, fingers in the gun and everything, you know, just ra ra racking the slide, all right, because it, it feels so smooth. I don't know what kind of metal they use, I don't know what kind of, like, polishing compound that they use, but it is, it just glides. And, and that's one of the reasons why I actually really love recommending Jag High Capus people, all right, because it looks cool out of the box, all right, you don't need to spend, like, what, $600 for your aftermarket slide, Kev? Is, is that how much you spent? Listen, man, this this ain't about me. Yeah, 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 okay. So, yeah, you don't have to spend all, it looks cool out of the box. It has some really cool colors, you know, they, they even make one peanut butter color for all you peanut butter enthusiasts out there. And it's buttery smooth, like, I, I don't know what else to say. Number three, Classic Army Mark 16, ECS Skirmish. Uh, one thing that really surprised me this year was the Classic Army ECS Mark 16. It has that nice Ergy style rail, hmm? All right, nice and lightweight. Tradition for me, I like all metal guns, all right, but the polymer, 
right? On the classic army, Mark 16 is surprisingly very durable. And I hate it when you like pinch cheaper plastic guns and you can feel a flex. All right, there's no flex, all right? It has that nice ECS gearbox, which I, I love a lot just because you get that snappy trigger response. And as I'm out of the box, um, it's great. And it looks super clean. And if I if I were to take that out onto a field, all right, no one touched the gun. All right, everyone thinks I had the Gucci of the Gucci. You know, they, they, they will probably think, oh, this guy, this guy really knows what he's doing. This guy really knows what he's talking about because look at his gun. He has such a cool looking gun. Yeah, so I love it, especially, specifically in the two-tone. Hmm? All right, a lot of companies, right, out there, are not brave enough to make a two-tone gun. They'll usually do all black or all peanut butter. All right, but what if, what if someone wanted something in between? All my, literally every single gun that I own is two-tone because I'm too scared, all right, I'm too much of a coward to go full peanut butter. Like, even on this guy, this guy was full peanut butter. Look, look, look at this. I, 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 I started coloring parts of it black because I'm, I'm too scared to go full peanut butter. Number four, getaway, cure up on one. I got an email right now saying my pit vipers are coming soon. Hey, I can't, can't wait to get those pit vipers in. <clears throat> anyway, oh, addressing elephant in the room. You heard me say a lot. Oh, I'm a huge KWA fan. I love KWA. Where are the KWA guns, bud? I thought you were KWA. Don't worry. All right, KWA guns coming up right now. One KWA gun that I'm dying. I'm just dying to get in because they were just out of stock, and and we there's literally a shipping container of KWA guns at US Customs being held up for inspection. It's, it's been a very very long time. I, I, and I I just been to KWA HQ by the way. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But. One gun I'm dying to get. It's KW QRF Mod 1, baby. All right, oh, mag release, hold on. QRF Mod 1, all right? So why why do I want a KW QRF Mod 1 over the, all the other mods? Because it looks cool. It has a curved mag, all right? It looks kind of like an MPX and an MP5 and a Classic Army X9, all right? They all had like a, a three-way baby, all right? They all kind of contributed uh, a piece of themselves to, to make that perfect conglomeration. You know, like I, I was thinking originally, I really wanted an MP5. You know, I wanted to get the Elite Force MP5, but I was like, ah, but everyone has an MP5, you know? And like, you're kind of limited on the options what you can do to make it cool. And you know, KDW, they, they kind of hit it out of the park with this one. You know, it has an M-Lock rail, a really aggressive looking, you know, the, the Ronin style, M-Lock rail, which I'm very in love with, okay? The PDW stock, oh, one of my favorite PDW stocks on the market because you actually fit a battery, okay? Other companies out there that make PDW stocks, take notes, buy a KWA PDW stock and take notes because their, K their PDW stocks are like top tier. And it comes with a little, little tool, you got just FPS, all right? So I'm mostly an outdoor player, so I like playing outdoors, but you know, the local fields I have to have CQB areas, okay? So I, I, I want a SMG kind of gun for those, those maps. But you know, if I, if I need to play with, uh, with Kevin or some of the other speed softers that work here, you know, and they go to N1 or Tax City or some indoor field, you know, I could just get a little tool, but, and then it's CQB legal all of a sudden, okay? You can accept a gay Titan, I'll never put a Titan in my gun, but it's light already out of the box, 80 round mid cats, perfect, perfect capacity. I can reload a few times per match because I love reloading, it's so fun, it's so cool. Uh, the ergonomics, perfection. Okay, Kediway, please make more, discontinue the Mod 2 and the Mod 3. Just keep making more of the Mod 1s. Number five, Genji ZMF-16. Last gun on the list. Now, it kinda hurts me to say this because honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this platform, okay? And I'm not a huge proponent, I guess you would say, of of this platform. I'm not a 416 fan, all right? I'm not a huge fan of the 416, all right? Even the A5, I, I, I think the A5 is cool, but I personally, I would never really pick one up just because I'm just not a fan. But there's something to it. There's something to the CMF-16 that just looks so damn good. I think maybe just because of the billet style receivers, uh, I'm gonna chalk it up to that, all right? And and the M-Lock rail, all right? You know how disappointing it is, hmm? You buy a 416, you're like, oh, I want like a, I want like an aftermarket rail. All oh, you get this proprietary freaking SMR rail, dude. 2012 called, all right? They want their modular rail systems back. Get with the program. Start making M-Lock rails for the 416. But GNG, they, they just do. It. They, they did it. It's surprisingly sturdy and lightweight. You know, like I, I could, I could one hand it. You know, I could, I could just like shoot people like this. You know, out on the field with one hand. 
right? It's, it's not too bad. And I know the Speedy Boys will love it because, you know, it weighs practically nothing. But hey, I like to put a ton of accessories on my gun. So, you know, like if I wanted to put like an airsoft hollow side and a flip to side magnifier and, uh, and like a Unity riser mount and like a... Uh, I don't, I don't know, like a, like a laser unit and a light and, you know, like a, like a metal foregrip or whatever. It can take all that right, and still be very usable, very wieldy, okay? And, the, and there's, there's like a certain crispness. There's a certain snappiness. It's very snappy. The, the newer G&G uh, &G G2 gearbox, you know, the same one in the SSG one, which is, by the way, my most hated release. Okay, g, &G stop. You're enabling, all right, you're enabling bad... Aesthetics. I, I, I can't criticize speed softers because they'll, they'll kick my butt any day. But you're enabling bad taste. Okay, you need to stop. Okay, but that, the gearbox is good though. On the SSG one, good gearbox. All right, so they just took the gearbox from the SSG one and just dropped it into a 416 style body. And I think it's amazing. Okay, now it comes in two variants, right? It comes with one with standard M4 buffer tube, which that's the one I like. That's the one that I'll probably get given that I get paid over minimum wage one day. But you know, they also make a PDW stock. Again, take notes, g, &G. All right, go go buy a, a KWA PDW stock and take notes. Okay, because that PDW stock looks ugly. Who's going to buy it? No one's going to buy it. Okay, get a nice looking PDW stock. So, take notes. Anyway, all right, great snappy trigger response. Great rate of fire. Light already out of the box. M-Lock. It got me a little moist. It, I, I must admit, it, it surprisingly kind of turned me sort of kind of into a 416 fan and and, and that's, that's a big deal because our head tech Taylor you know I've known him for over 10 years and he's always been telling me get a 416 get a 416 every time I looked at it I said no but now I can finally say mayhaps okay so that, that was pretty much it that was that was my rant on my five most favorite releases of the, the past year and also this year you know the airsoft releases have been very uh, sporadic all right, just because of the whole coof, you know, and the whole shutdown of of uh, manufacturing and exportation and customs clearance, and it's a big mess. And surprisingly, you know, G&G, &G, like we, we, we've been saying it for the past year, they're like pretty much the only company that brings in new guns, which is, it, it's mind-blowing, all right? So you know how hard it was not to pick more than one G&G &G gun, all right? You know how hard it was to not make this whole list just a bunch of G&G &G guns, because that was pretty much all the new releases this past year, all right? But... I did it for you because I love you. That was my list. We got Kevin's list, who is behind the camera right there. All right, and we got Cisco. It's a list coming up pretty soon if you're in curious about what their favorite releases were. Okay, and if you guys are on the fence about any of these products, uh, we have made reviews in the past or overviews in the past regarding each individual gun. So hopefully they'll sway you either way. So yeah, so um, th these are all pretty, uh, interesting products that we're gonna be coming out with and hopefully there'll be some more newer products in the future hopefully it's not just GNG hopefully you get newer guns all right from other manufacturers pretty soon so if you like what you saw subscribe all right if you I, I already told you at the beginning of the video subscribe why don't you subscribe so subscribe okay and if you want to support us directly all right we go go to yourself GI okay all right like I said I I have a lot of guns that I want to pick up but I can't because I'm making minimum wage, all right? So, and, and Kevin, he's like starving over there. You, you know what he had for dinner last night? He told me he had ice soup. What is ice soup? Can someone explain to me what that is? Because he won't explain it to me. And Cisco, I mean, well, Cisco's always eating, so don't worry about Cisco. We upload every Wednesday and Friday, last year on Thursday, to have some intimate, intimate experiences with Daddy Airsoft, all right? We'll see you next time. All right, we're out here for another shooting challenge, this time with pistols and we're gonna be shooting some precision shots as well as introducing a quick reload. So we have two targets set up. We're gonna shoot one, do a quick tack reload, then shoot the other. No misses allowed. If you have a holster, you can drop the holster. If not, you can just go from low ready. Let's try it. All right, and shoot already. Yeah. And go. Yee! Your turn. <laughs> 